So I just bought it. It said engine doesn't work. I said there was a I said there was a problem with the timing chain tensioner. There's a loud noise. And then he said that it doesn't work. It doesn't turn on. I didn't try it. I don't I don't want to turn it on. I'm gonna start taking it apart, having a look, seeing what the damages are. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, so engine is out. There's the bike. Engine is out, and what I found so far is actually the engine is seized. So, uh, it's not, it's not moving. I tried this even with it in the bike. It's not moving. He told me that it was the timing chain. He thought they, the mechanic thought it was the timing chain, but uh, looking at the timing here, it's actually it, it hasn't moved. The time, the chain's not broken. Um, it's you know in timing. So the time, the timing is right. You can see the intake and exhaust uh, markers and the marker down here is like at the top dead center so yeah Here's the head. I don't know what condition that's in. Looks doesn't look too bad. Could could work fine. But what I'm more interested in is the pistons. So ooh. Alright. What do we have here? Uh I can see some scoring I don't know like scratches but that almost looks like it's machined like some cross hat some cross hatching I don't know uh, you can see it sort of rubbing off here you can see it rubbing off I'm not sure what this is telling me um, so keep opening and find out more Okay, so finally got the crankcase open. Um, it took me a little while because there was one hidden bolt, like, uh, which I didn't see. But this part came off and it seems pretty smooth. There's nothing, like, there's no, doesn't look like it's been seized or anything. Maybe a little worn, but and over here on the crank, this feels very smooth. Uh, just, but it's still seized. So I'm gonna take off the pistons, and also what I found 
Oh, the crank is moving. Moving, moving, moving. Oh, it's moving now. It's weird. What I found was I don't know if you can see in the pistons here. Um kind of looks like it's been honed which they say that this shouldn't be honed because it's nicosil or something like nickel silicon coating uh, I don't know if this is a factory like I don't know if this is a factory honing but it's definitely like you can see the marks there but it's very smooth so I'm not sure anyway it's interesting that this thing started to move maybe maybe i just unseized it no it shouldn't be that hard okay so if this comes out which it's not it's a bit stuck it's moving this is moving So that's that's the pistons moving. Pistons moving up and down. But this is still stuck. It's not moving. So it must be uh must be the piston ones. So let's have a look. Let's take it off. Yeah hard part is putting this back all together but um, Oh, that doesn't look good. I don't think this looks good. This looks burnt. This looks pretty burnt. Burnt, burnt. That looks burnt. It's still not moving. Oh, this, this comes, yeah, this moves. This comes down. Okay. So the piston is not seized. It's the. It's this that looks burnt. Why? I'm gonna check if the right bearings or so I've taken that one off and it's still seized. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look good to me. This does not look like a good. this crank part looks all right mm, it's not, not good looks scratched piston's fine bearing is very bad so looks bad Problem. This bearing looks bad. This journal looks a little bit scored. I think I don't know if this crankshaft is actually fixable with the amount of scoring and stuff it's got on it. It's usually turnable. Oop. Oop. Not spinning. <laughs> it's free now. It's free. Engine's not seized anymore. Doesn't look as bad as the others. 
but it still was causing it to be seized. Crankshaft. Okay, now pistons. Those look good. Honest. Ah, the rings. I think the rings came out. Yeah, the rings came out of this one. Okay. Don't worry about that one. But this one. The rings came out of this one as well. Um, but the pistons are pretty good. So, um, yeah, I, I bought this bike. The guy said that there was a problem with uh, a knocking noise and the mechanic said that it was the chain the like the timing chain so um, obviously it's not it's the conrod bearings so whether they knew that I don't know maybe just but either way probably the same outcome um, I've seen some pretty bad looking um, timing chain issues as well so you know I bought the bike cheap enough I was hoping maybe I could get lucky but even not I'm still I could just drop a new motor or I could try and fix this one okay so the next step is find out if these journals can be repaired there's no oversized bearings that you can get so it'll just have to be uh, within the same tolerances there are different sizes but it's very minute there isn't like an oversized like you know half a mil oversized type thing uh, so we'll see if we can get these done and I also need to ask about the the cylinder honing uh, whether it can get, get recoded with Nika Sil, whether that can get repaired so depending on what the machine shop says this next video is going to be either a rebuild of this motor or I'm just going to drop a new motor in and um, and just leave it at that so uh, I'll end with a Bible verse as usual and so the Bible verse for today is Proverbs chapter 12 22 it says that lying lips are an abomination to the Lord but those who act righteously are his delight with that verse like even withholding the truth is still lying so uh, I don't know when I bought this bike whether they knew more than what they thought whether they were just trying to deceive me maybe show me a report and saying this is what we th it's something like this or maybe because of this uh to sort of lead me in the wrong way uh, i think i bought the bike cheap enough where it doesn't even matter whether they thought something but it was actually something else but i don't know if maybe they knew what the problem was and we're just withholding some more information because I specifically asked, you know, what's wrong with it? And they just showed me a report saying the timing was not good, that the, the tensioner was not good. Uh, he, and they said, oh, maybe it's because of something from because of this. But either way, you know, aside from that, just in general, uh, withholding something that you know is still lying. So as I said, you know, the world needs Jesus. The world needs, you know, honesty. I don't know. Just small things make the world a different place. So anyway, uh, that's all I've got. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like my content in general, please subscribe. And take it easy and ride safe.